Alright everybody, welcome back to Deep Rock Galactus Survivor. Today we're going to be playing as Gunner with a Weapon Specialist. Find the Dreadnought. Eliminate the Dreadnought. Return in time for sandwiches and beers. You can do this alone. So this weapon is we shoot in the direction we're facing. And for every 100 bullets we shoot, but see if I'm not facing the enemy, I don't think I shoot. Yeah, I only shoot when I'm facing the enemy. And every 100 projectiles we shoot, it shoots 8 high-powered projectiles everywhere across the map. And we don't want to step on that lava, but we have a really long uh, cooldown. So let's get more damage rather than more fire rate. But uh, the aliens also burn too, so that's just nice. There is like it's it's it seems really difficult though, because we have to face the enemies before it starts shooting, which makes it a bit harder. Reload speed's nice because we're out of ammo already, and just got hit there. Yeah, because we have no firepower right now until. Yeah, it does have a slight bit of auto aim. It's just really like a. S it's not exactly where we're looking. It's a small area around us. All right, so we can get. A lot of these weapons, which this is literally the exact same thing, so it has three combinations with that. So I think I'm gonna get the Jerry Rigged Boomstick. Problem is, is now I have two weapons of a really long cooldown. Although one with a way less cooldown it can be used on a moment's notice. Alright, I was even walking over there. I need to get this stuff and then I need to get the Morkite. Because at least the jerry rig boomstick means I don't have to look at the enemies to kill them. Well done, you got them all. Add ammo again. And also when we level up we can actually get, um... A hit there. Uh, we can also get, um... Things like, uh, now spray weapons, kinetic damage, and... Swarm detected. Things like that. Upgrades apply to both those weapons. Uh, we're just gonna get... Fast hands because it just decreases the time to reload all weapons, and that's just nice. I believe this is more difficult than before. Which makes sense. No matter which way I look, I'm shooting now. There we go. Get a bit of XP here. Uh, we'll get more damage again because fire rate is not something we have to worry about. We already shoot a little too fast and use a little bit too much of our ammo. I'd prefer more damage, and we each ammo's worth more. And wow, we've already called in the Elite. Change damage to fire type. Will reloading doubles your armor. Um, I don't really like either of these. I think I'll just salvage for an epic. Yeah. Because I'm not sure fire damage is good. Down here, yeah. See, so projectile. I upgraded all projectiles I have. And also, it's way easier to not kill the boss here and go attack other enemies. Oh, those explode. Because all you have to face the enemy to do the most damage. I mean, if I just simply look the other way... Oh, wow, it's already spitting enemies. Oh, no, that's just the boss. Let's just crush the boss, because why not? Um, small chance to gain XP. Oh, I think we're just going to get the diver's manual. Uh, more reload speed. And there's a ton of gold right here. I'm certain I can get over here and grab a little bit more. I can actually probably get a little bit of health here. And then now I got the ugh, English. Now all I have to do is just shoot all these guys. And gather a bit of extra XP. I'm gonna leave now. Alright, yeah, stage two out of the five stages. I think we're gonna be able to win first try now. I did not get much of anything. I really would have loved to get this, but uh, I'm gonna reroll here. I barely have any nitro. More projectile damage. Uh, you know, I'll lock. No, I won't lock that. This is really nice. I think I'll lock that specifically and just try to get as much gold as possible. I think I spent too long around the same area in that first one. Need to explore the map more. I'm having the best time in my life right now. 
Yeah, every 100 projectiles we shoot. Which is really good that we have two spray projectiles, because those shoot a lot. I mean, we often do shoot our high power projectiles. I'm not actually sure what it does. I'll get more damage on the shotgun. Let's we'll kill one of these loot bugs, because it gives us a bit of nitro and gold. And we should just be able to really run into these guys. And they'll just all die, which is quite nice. And we're almost got level up there. And actually, in the bottom left, you can see how many projectiles you've shot. Which, that's not exactly the most useful. And I wonder if the projectiles you shoot from the thing count towards it. They probably don't. Because it wouldn't make any sense. Alright, I need to run now. I have, like, no ammo left. And everything blows up. Can't get any of that, though, because these guys didn't blow up. And they'll actually try to avoid walking on this, but they don't do exactly a great job and sometimes just walk on it anyways. They'll do it if it's like the only way, but they will avoid it. I mean, I could just run across there and I don't think they'll follow me. Because these, these, whatever they're called, just have too much health, just like in the base game. Another swarm already, let's get more reload speed, that way we can actually shoot. That's way better now, I basically have infinite ammo. Got hit there, a little unfortunate. One bad thing about the spray is I can't really guarantee I'll hit the enemy that I want to hit. It's actually quite difficult. So it also shows me which rocks have lava underneath of them because that rock has magma underneath of it. I do not want to step there because it will hurt me. See, these guys, the only way they can get through is by sticking on the fire. So they're going to step on the fire. They don't do it in the most efficient way because they're just bugs. They're not smart enough to know, hey, I should just walk across the rock too, and now they're gonna walk diagonally. Now, when I get rid of the air, when I get near one of those, it starts to count down to explode. Um, shoots big bugs. This is the exact same thing, except it's precise instead of spread. Ouch, that hurt. Um, we're gonna get loose and bolts on it, sure. It shoots big bugs, it slows them down or something. I don't know, I don't read. I just look at stuff and like, ah, okay. If you say so. We do need gold, which we haven't found a single piece of. Well, wandering around the entire map. There's no gold here, apparently. So we might not be able to afford that kinetic damage reload thing. Ah, uh, we'll get more damage. Oh, dude, there's probably so much XP over here. Look at that. Just shredded them. They're all dead. Uh, I can't. I can't just pass it up that. Passing up. I can't pass up that. It's just too good. Yeah, so my goal here is probably to go get the drop pod. While looking for gold on the way to it. Because seriously, I have not found a single piece of gold and I have not completed my objective yet. Which, yeah, there's a lot of object objective stuff around, I just can't get to it as apparently. I'm gonna try to dodge these. Oh, here's all my gold. It's right here. That was only about 11, though. I'm gonna walk over the lava. Oh, the lava didn't damage me. Because it didn't walk over long enough. Alright, I'm gonna kill the elite. Um. Small chance to find XP whenever you mine any rock. More kinetic damage. And now you have to go the exact direction where all the bugs are. How annoying. I can't tell if those dis those uh, destructor guys are the self-destruct detonators, uh, self-destruct, or if they just attack. If they just self-destruct when they get close enough, or they just attack. Uh, more weapon range, more damage. Sure, why not? Yeah, it's okay. So I took damage for standing there for long enough. Yeah. Not enough gold here. Oh, I need to get on the drop pod now. Well done, miner. Too bad there's no you magnets, and I didn't finish this. Do you all the caps I needed? So I won't be able to get this, but I think I'll still keep it here. And I'll just continue. I don't think it was locked in when I just went back in there. Alright. One bad thing is that we're really slow. We need to really get, like, speed leveled up.
Right, come on, grab the mushrooms. And now we have to walk through here to get the gold. Which is really nice that I don't have to use my main weapon to attack these guys, but it's also really nice to my way of English. My main weapon just kills them all. So if anything's in front of me, it's basically just dead, and I have a few other weapons that attack as well. Although I think the main damage dealer here is the minigun. I mean, the Jerry Rig Boomstick's doing a lot of damage too, but it's just not frequent enough. All these other weapons are just not frequent enough. Um, reload speed. Ouch, why did I do that? Uh, let me mine through here. These guys are like the tougher ones. Killing doesn't give me much XP though. I really hate projectiles. Again, I said this once, I said it twice. I hate projectiles in these types of games. They're just so annoying and so hard to dodge. Because sometimes they're impossible to dodge, you just take unfair damage. Thank you for helping me mine this bug. Your payment is a bunch of lead. A lead storm. Yeah, I feel like this is more difficult. The magma core place, wherever we are. I got to run over here. That hurt real bad. Can't even get all that nice XP over there. It's awful. Unless I mine through here. Then I might be able to do it. Um, Fire rates to all projectile weapons. Now we're just going to get reload speeds all medium sized weapons. Even though it does not upgrade my main gun. It's fine. I'm out. Gotta run, gotta run. Um. Fire rate. Ah, this is hurting so bad. I'm gonna die here. This is the end, isn't it? I mean, it will be if I don't find the um, heals. More pickup radius. I mean, I can't really pass up that. That's just too good. I mean, seriously, first no gold, now no red sugar. Here we go, here's a bit of red sugar. That actually heals me quite a bit. Way more than the base game. Not base game, the original game. I don't really want any of these. Uh, I mean, then we'll have two precises. Plus this is a four combo with that. We still have a 25 with Gunner. We're just shooting a ton of bullets. This is our main thing, we just shoot fast. Uh, reload speed. More clip size, less reload speed. I think I'll take that, because we already have a lot of reload speed, so I think I prefer, yeah, it's basically the same as before, because I literally just got an upgrade that literally increased my reload speed by more than that, but I'm not sure how it applies this, because it's 20% faster, which is, I think, 20% of what I already have, so minus 30% of what I have is probably worse now that I have, no, because I got 30% more, so I think now 20, taking away 20%, and that's more than originally would have taken. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here. Math is easy. Except when I'm doing it. Then I can't understand. Uh, wait, I haven't gotten the thingy yet, have I? I'm gonna take so much damage. I need to just run from the boss. Fire rate. Because I don't want to kill the boss here. I need to collect the mushroom caps. Somehow avoid dying here. Unfortunately, kill the boss, which is not what I wanted to do. Because I also want... Uh, mining speed. Yeah, I wanted to get, um, the drill. Not the supply drop, I mean, but I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't get it from here. It's too far away, and there's just too many blocks nearby. Okay. You can finally buy this. That's all weapons getting leveled up. Alright, so we need some more kites. This place is almost nice compared to lost. And now it's kill the bugs and then we can gather the more kites. Oh yeah, we got the acid spitters, which is honestly probably the most annoying enemy in this game so far. All the other ones are fine, I think. 
I honestly don't care if some of the enemies explode. A little annoying, yes, but not too terribly deadly. I mean, it is actually pretty deadly, but it's just easier to deal with. Alright, maybe I'm finally going to be able to kill these guys for once. Was it even give me? I don't know. I killed the collector. Gold or damage, I take damage. Because there's a ton of gold right here I can just mine. Ouch, what hit me there? Oh, it's just a bug that was just sitting there, of course, why not? Ah, uh, more damage here, even though it's probably not the correct choice. I'm gonna take it anyways. No, I wanted to move there. And I watch, I'm just gonna kill all the bugs, just shred them all. Real bad thing is that these guys stack up with their projectiles. I mean, there's just so many projectiles at once. Oh, this is bad. I'm back into a corner here. Probably should have continued going that way. Actually, no, I shouldn't have, because this is free. Just gotta run. Yeah, because I see it. It sort of fires in like an 80 degree arc of everything in front of me. Now, yeah, I think I'm gonna get the drop pod. Not the drop pod, the, um, the thingy that I can get, the upgrades. Swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. Alright, um, we're gonna get more damage on this. I haven't really upgraded that at all. I should have just ran, but now I'm just stuck kiting these guys, and that hurts. But it's better than getting blown up. I think I did less damage at least. Uh, more XP gain. There we go. Uh, reload speed, just because reload's good. So one more of these. I mean, I do want as much gold as possible. Also, I haven't found a single piece of more kite. But next time, gold's useless. Because I don't have anything that gives me, um... Increased damage for how much gold I have, something like that. Which I think that is a thing, because the Nitra, I know there's pickled Nitra. Which, you move slower, but deal more damage for every Nitra you have. It's 0.5% slower, but 1% more damage. Or is it just one more damage? You know I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure whatever it is is close enough. There, fire rate. The same thing. I mean, yeah, clip size is probably nice. I'd rather wait a little bit longer for my reload than... Uh, yeah, let's get gold when mining rocks. Let's just tighten the springs. Everything fires faster, but no specific upgrade. Alright, yeah, the acid spitter is just so annoying, especially the elite. He just spits too often. Um... I'd rather get this, honestly, even though it's probably just worse in general than getting the other thing leveled up a bit faster. I'm just gonna take it anyways. We do need a lot of extra- I wish there was a magnet here. Oh, there it is. Magnet. Because there's a lot of XP I need. Um, this. I'd rather get more damage than fire rate. And that's it. All the XP on the map only got me two level ups. I really do want to get all the more kite, but I can't find any. More reload speed. Yeah, I'm constantly doing that uh, weapons expert's ability because I'm shooting so many bullets. I'm gonna run across here because I, I don't want to kill the elite acid spitter. I want to get the more kite. No, no, I killed him by accident again. And wow, that's a lot of exploders. But luckily, I think the exploders all just have like the perfect amount of health where they all die when you uh, hit a single one of them and they explode. Oh well. I can still get a little bit more XP, but not much. There's really nothing around on the map. I killed everything. I should probably get back now. Just shoot everything, just because. Then walk in. Alright. Alright, um, fire rate of all project- of all weapons, yeah. Get this upgraded, and then get it upgraded again by giving it more piercing. Sure, we'll re-roll. Can't afford that. Re-roll again. Maxed out, so we can either get... Lead-wrapped ammo. Less fire rate, less vehicles, more damage. Or the favorite. More damage, more fire rate. But all other weapons do less damage, have less fire rate. Let's get the favorite.
I feel like this one just goes great for the favorite. Yeah, so we defeat this elite, but this elite seems weaker than all the other elites before. Let's turn around and shoot him every once in a while. And it's also a lot of XP for someone so weak. Uh, there's no point in gathering the gold I was going to, but then I realized I don't need to. Like, I didn't need to do that, because there's no point. My goal right now is to find and destroy the eggs, and then get out of here. Oh yeah, and to get as much XP as possible. Uh, I'd like move speed, but more reload speed. I can't pass that up. Look at that. Just amazing. The lead storm's amazing. It's probably one of my favorite weapons now. Because yeah, the reload at the start is very long, but now I've gotten it so short. It doesn't really matter if it's on reload, because we can just run around while the, our other weapons semi take care of all the enemies. And by semi, I mean really just weaken them. But I really don't have to wait that long. Uh, weapon Specialist does not seem like a very good perk. It seems kind of garbage. Because, yeah, sure, I shoot eight high-powered rounds and do like 195 damage, but it's very rare that I'm actually hitting any of these shots. Because I think, yeah, I think I just did it again. Yeah, see, I'm doing it constantly, but it doesn't really do any damage. It hits like a few guys, but it does less damage than my minigun's basic shot. I wonder, when I'm standing still, do I, like, shoot faster after this or something? Is that, like, a thing? No, but look at this. 427% more damage. And an insane fire rate. Yeah, so as as it hits, uh, the eggs just hatch, and then I just kill the elites. Which are going to be getting the same elite, honestly. This elite's not too bad, because he's so slow. He's so painfully slow that he's not even a threat. I'm sure, he can fly over things. But he's just so slow that it doesn't really matter. I could literally just walk, and eventually he would just go off screen. Alright, where is the supply drop? I kind of want to use the supply drop to kill the elite dreadnought again. Just because of how hilarious that was the first time, but I'm not going to. Bad thing is I'm not keeping track of how much ammo this thing has left. So I have no clue when I'm about to just run headfirst into enemies. With no ammo. Oh wait, actually getting the supply drop here is actually a bit more difficult, because now I have to walk on lava. Oh, you're, you're burning by flying above... Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Alright, yeah, we're gonna get bigger cogs, because more damage there is better. Wow, just the damage. Just the damage. The damage is insane. This is the only case where that shoot everything around me is good. Right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the damage. I'm just gonna mine through this real quick. I'm sure this run damage won't resolve my death. And there we go, another elite I'm gonna kill the uh the drop pod. He's just gonna fall right in his head. What's our ability? What are we gonna Oh, more reload speed, yeah. Come on, what's our ability? Let me grab it. Um, gain XP when you take damage? Why not? I doubt we're really going to take damage, and I doubt we really needed to do that. Probably not worth the damage we took. But who knows, maybe I could have gotten another Diver's Manual. The enemies can't hit me as long as I have ammo. Because as long as I face the general direction of the enemies, they don't do damage to me. Oh, I forgot about the Elite Dreadnought's jumping ability. Which he missed. Oh, this is gonna hurt so bad. I mean, what if we didn't just whiff his shot and miss? I'm so glad this thing doesn't spit acid, though. As long as I move, like, an inch, he can't damage me. Uh, more movement speed, please, if I can get farther ahead of him before shooting him. I'm actually now worried that if I move too far ahead of him, he's gonna hit me. Thought he was gonna jump there, but no, it's just the eggs.
Oh, this is where it's really gonna hurt. Oh, thank you, actually. That, that made my life easier. Again, this is just making it easier. Wow, actually, I can shred through his health. Look at that. Just non-existent. I, I didn't even hit me. I kind of wish that he, sh he, he spat out exploders. I can't speak. I was trying to say exploders and spat at the same time. Is that supposed to harm me? Because that definitely did. Although, you're, you're dead now. Oh, I get it. It's supposed to help them do that ability. And stop me from moving. I'm almost dead, but not. Kill any Dreadnought, close call it. So I killed any Dreadnought with less than 30% of my health left. I also think that when I got that achievement, I unlocked a new item. I have to mind this about walking into it. Okay. And we leave at level 4. Actually, wait, can we get another level out of this and just get an achievement? Come on. Please, just another level. The achievement. No, I can't get the achievement here. Just shy of it. If I just collected more XP, I would have gotten it. Oh, well. But we won that in record-breaking time, totally. And we got it mastered to level 12, so that unlocks something new. Let's storm powered minigun mastery. And yeah, we got the mocap. Along with getting a new weapon, because we got um, class rank 3 and gunner. The burst fire gun, which seems pretty good. Based on what it says. Okay, so let's look. Most damage was obviously lead storm, but really? DPS is only 1,193 a second. I'm surprised we did such little damage when we played scouts. We got like 2,000 damage, and the DPS is 2,000. Uh, yeah, all our damage was really kinetic, only fire damage was the things around us. That was easy. But yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Rumble, and join me next time as I play more Deep Rock Survivor. Let's get more mining speed. Um, potency, I guess. Max health, sure. Why not?